Clippers, it went like 50, 40, 50. Yeah. He was like great, that. but it was ISO a lot of right. it. And that's okay. easier to guard than the the movement Steph. Like, what Steph does is so unique. Like, why, why did Damian Lillard get taken out of the series by double teams? Because he passed out of the double teams and stood there. Like most players today, James Harden, LeBron, I can name all these guys. Steph pass out the double team oh, and run, starts running. Yep. So that, that he is the guy that the other teams, not that nobody ignores Kevin Durant. I haven't really talked to anybody for the most part that says Steph is better than Durant. But most imp more important to that team, the engine that makes them go is Steph. And he proved it by winning it before KD even got there. So this would be their fourth ring. I think I'm, a, I'm saying it's his team. And he would join the Kobe Shaq Lakers and Michael Jordan is the only guys outside of Bill Russell mm. to three-peat. Mm -hmm. So that would be huge for him. Now, as far as the MVP, it, I've said, Skip, on this show, you know, I've, I thought he should have definitely been the MVP in 2015. I concur. I, I, it's beyond me how he could not only not win it, but I don't believe he even got a vote. LeBron got more votes. I think it was Iguodala than LeBron, LeBron as far as the Steph's numbers in that series. 26 points, six assists, five rebounds a game, 40% shooting from three. Mm -hmm. In the pivotal game five, when the series was tied 2-2, he drops 37, hits 7 to 13 from three. In game six, he goes 25, 8, and 6. And Iguodala, who was really good, Got the MVP for holding LeBron. LeBron averaged 36, 13, and 9. That would he Some people thought he should have been MVP. No, on. no, game, game. Oh, you're game, just those games? Game five. No, the series. Game five with Iguodala winning. Yeah. LeBron goes 40, 14, and 11. Game six, he goes 32, 18, and 9. Okay, but they got wiped out in both those games. Not right? wiped. Steph had 37, though. Mm. In game, how you wiping somebody out without the 37 points? So, I just, nothing against Iguodala, but I thought Steph got robbed in that. But then, so for people, I think finals MVPs are overrated. Kareem, of his six titles, he had two finals MVPs. Two, his last two, at least, he was past his prime, hmm. if not the last three. Uh, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker won one. Larry Bird's first championship. Cornbread, Cornbread Maxwell. So... Mm -hmm. I, I mean, think they're over... Number two even won one. I don't know how. No, no, no. To your point. Yeah, it's not your point. You know what he just, was good. Nice I'm just But he was a role player that year. He real was. talk. He averaged 12 points. Now, he was big in the finals, but that, that, that's serious. But my point for, for posterity's sake, for legacy, when you do look at the greats, you nitpick, and if he doesn't have any finals MVPs in four championships, mm -hmm. then I think that's something people can hold against him. So I do think... It will help him in that regard. Uh, but I, I look, in his four finals, he's averaged 25 points, six rebounds, and six assists. I, so, I, I believe it will be the cherry on the top because you're talking about a guy that will have multiple regular season MVPs, multiple finals or victories, and a finals MVP. It's hard. It's going to be hard if he wins this one, wins the MVP, that you keep him out of the top ten. And everybody keeps All time. All time. People keep talking about Steph Curry's playing so bad in the finals. But let me tell you who Steph Curry has a higher scoring average in the finals than. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kobe Bryant, Larry Bird, and D-Wade. Wow, that's impressive. Steph Curry has a higher final scoring average. Now, a lot of people think Kareem could be considered the GOAT. Right. People think Kobe Bryant's a top 10, Larry Bird's a top 10. And Steph Curry averages more points in the finals than those five guys. Mm. Can I interest you in that, Skip Bates? Well, I got a whole lot to <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. But with that being <laughs> That's said, strong. With right. that being said, Skip. They, they shoot it every time. Like, they're, they're just shooting like crazy. They're, they're getting up threes. But Showtime was scoring a lot of points. Skip, I, I, and Kobe obviously shooting. Yeah. Mm. But the thing is, is that, look. If you look at his last two in 2017, he averaged 27, 8, and 9. Mm. KD averaged 35, 8, and 5, clearly. Mm. Mm. Last year, 27, 6, 7. KD was 29, 11, 7 and a half. Mm. You can get that. But even Kobe, the last two that Kobe and Shaq won together, Shaq was 36 and 12. Kobe was 27, 7, 6, and uh, 5. Mm. So you see, Skip, sometimes you can play well, but right. then the player on your team has such a historic run. 
What Kevin Durant was, and then everybody remembers, Skip, that game three shot. Mm. Then he follows that up, KD, in the sweep with a triple-double. Mm. How do you overlook that even though Steph was still doing his work? Mm -hmm. So for me, yes, this is icing on the cake. This, mm. is, this is the cherry on top of the right. sundae. It's still a great dessert, but now he went, Skip, they win this, and I believe he's going to have to be the finals MVP if KD doesn't come back and play. Mm. It's going to be hard. I don't know how you keep Steph Curry out of the top team. Mm. And you even said the other day, before Skip started, would you put him ahead of Magic as the greatest point guard ever if they win this? Hmm. <sighs> Might have to. Might have to. I think he's chasing. I wouldn't quite go that far yet. So somebody across the table from me, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to alert our 